What do you think is the master key to unlocking and living your ideal life? The master key. I've never been asked that question before. I don't even know what a master key is. I'll just assume I know what it is. Everyone's going to have a different answer for this. So that would be a good question to ask like a lot of different people. Realistically, though, if you think about it, when you're feeling grateful, when you're feeling good, like when you're, when you're thinking grateful thoughts of gratitude, when you're thinking thoughts of appreciation, you feel good. And when you feel good, life's good, even if the sh situation's pretty shoddy. So as long as you're feeling grateful, you're good. Like that's your life is ideal when you're grateful and you could have like the best life ever in terms of materialistic possessions. But if you're not grateful, if you don't have an attitude of gratitude and you're not like appreciative of the things you do have, it doesn't really matter what you have. So I really think the master key is gratitude and just making that a habit, making, making it a habit to wake up and be grateful and go to bed and be grateful and look around you and be grateful. That makes everything ideal. It doesn't matter if you're in Bangladesh or you're in, Thailand or you're in Egypt or you're in Canada or America. If you're grateful, you're grateful and you're full of greatness. So I think that's the master key. Another master key, in addition to that, like if you want to like rocket on a physical plane, then I think the key is having a, uh, a clear idea, like a really clear idea of what you actually want to have in your life and writing it out on paper. If you don't write it down on paper, you're screwed because how are you supposed to have it all in your head? You, you, you probably want too many things in life to have it all stuck in your head. So the master habit is going to bed every night and writing in your notebook what you want to be, do, and have the following day. And then wake up the following day and be those things and do those things so that you can have those things. That's the master habit.